everybody, welcome back. It's our Halloween, and I've got my little my little grandson trick or treaters with me. Hi. Hi. Is that better? Hi. I'm a pumpkin face. <laughs> You're silly. Usually, we go to my mom and dad's and trick or treat from their house, and my mom makes chili and cornbread and all the things. But this year, because of COVID, it's all different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're gonna go around the neighborhood here, but they can't go in the house because my dad's in there. And he, you know, my dad's in there. So we're trying to keep everybody safe, social distancing. Social distance trick-or-treating. Everyone go six feet. So they're gonna pretty much go to houses we know. That's their plan. Rob's handing out candy over here. g -Pug got it set up over You're, here. You're gonna lose all your candy, stop. Yeah, <laughs> There goes your candy. Don't throw your bucket, buddy. I got it. If you throw your bucket up in the air, everything comes right out. So g -Pug's handing out candy here, and we're gonna go in the house and watch g -Pug out the window handing out candy. Me too. And I made chili. All right, we're in the kitchen with Grammy, and we're doing the traditional chili. I've got that happening right here. My granddaughter was over earlier, and she helped me make cornbread. I'll just, oh, you want to see? Cornbread. We've got the cornbread. Four instead of about 20. Yeah, usually there's about 20 of us that get together. Get together. Yeah, that's what I said. All my kids come over. Well, most of my kids come over with their kids, and trick-or-treat for my mom and dad's house because they live in an allotment and Grammy makes the, the chili not me but it's going it's going well so now it's just the four of us and we'll go see Rob in a minute and see if there's been any trick-or-treaters well has there been any trick-or-treaters none none we've well, had I, none I've had, I've had, I think I think about there have been three three yeah the three are our grandkids yeah but he's got a good setup here. He's got this go. table. Got my heater. And then he's got a heater. Move your leg. Can't see it. He's got a heater under there. So he's ready. He's ready for him. The fire department's Bring already been by in their little fire truck and all the things. So now we just wait. Now in this bucket, we've got all the candies that we like. We made sure to buy the, the ones we like just in case something would happen and we'd have to eat all the candy. We're ready. We're ready. What, to eat all the candy? Yeah. We'll have to send some home with Grammy and Grandpa. Yeah. We'll send them home a little bag because I think we're going to have a lot of extra candy. Well, we're already uh, half hour in. Half hour in and there's no been no kids. I see, I see some kids going down that way and down that road over there. So I'm not sure if they're doing uh, single blocks or what. I don't know. We'll, well, that just goes to say that the parents are keeping their kids home, which is a good thing pretty, too. Pretty, pretty much, yes. But we're ready. I kind, Rob, of, I kind of figured. I kind of figured it's going to be a bad year for trick or treaters. And but we wanted to do something anyway. Just in case. Rob's got his mask out. So when they come up, he's got a mask out. He's got his rubber gloves on, and our skeleton. The stuff. And our pumpkins that we decorated, or we cut out on our live stream. Which, if you go look at the comments under that video, video. Evidently, some lady thinks we're satanic for cutting out pumpkins. Yeah, go read that comment. It's there. I haven't deleted it. I'm going to leave it there. Jesus didn't cut out pumpkins, she said, so we're satanic. And she said putting up a tree is satanic, too, at Christmas time. Christmas time, yeah. So, I don't know. We're not satanic. What, what, do, they, what do they call Thanksgiving? Killing turkeys? Yeah. Is that something bad, too? or I don't know. I don't know. So... I'll link that video at the end. Maybe I'll put it in my description. Go read the comments. Feel free to comment yourself if you'd like. My uh, dad just says, this cornbread is really, really good. My mom's like, yeah, it is really good. My mom's like, do you have a recipe for that? I sure do. Jiffy Mix. My poor mom slaves over a cornbread and it's like a 59 cent thing of Jiffy Mix. Won the, won the race. Our first trick-or-treaters. They gotta be cold. Hi. Are many houses, see, handing out candy? Yeah. Are they? They're probably gonna be around, so. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, have a good night. You too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Those might be our only trick or treaters of the night. <laughs> Here they go. 
Rob, how many kids? Um, 29. 29 kids. 29 kids <laughs> went trick-or-treating to our house this year. Safely. We did it safely. Rob, you hear me? Look at I got this piece of hair. I don't Rob did it safely, not me. He stayed warm by his little heater. I'm going in the house because I'm cold. But I learned something tonight when my parents were here. Once in a balloon moon. Did you hear it, the saying, once in a blue moon? Well, that actually has a meaning, and the meaning to once in a blue moon is a moon, a full moon, that happens the second time in the month, which only happens about every 32 months. Yeah, once in a blue moon. So when somebody tells you once in a blue moon, now you know what that means. It's the second moon in a month, and it's very rare. All right, if you like our channel, come back for more. We'll see you next time. Subscribe. Hit the like button, which the like button is the little thumb, the little thumbs up button that you see down there if you look next to that little subscribe button that you need to hit. Happy Halloween 2020, and I'll see you next year. Bye. I'll see you next year. Yeah, no, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.